Hey guys, how's it going? Wow, it's like 100 degrees out. I have my jacket on. I must be going crazy. But I got something very special. The world's smallest robot right here in my jacket. Check this out, guys. Yes, we got the Limpet M200. This guy is so tiny, it's mind blown. Let's see how well this little fella can do. Hey, you guys see me behind all these boxes? Look how big these boxes get. This giant box. And look, we haven't got a bigger box. But guess what? We got smaller boxes too. There you go, tiny little box just for you guys. Well, are you having one of those days where you're just laying there, don't give a care in the world, you don't want to crawl out of bed or get off this branch, but your friends over there is nagging you to get up, go do something, do some house chores, maybe vacuum your house. Well, maybe it's time to get a little robotic helper. Briefly go over what's included. You got the AC power adapter, you got the charging dock. Unfortunately, you can't wrap the cable around, but it does come with a handy little cleaning brush with the hair cutting tool, so very, very nice. Thank you card with all the information from Limpet, so that's really nice. It's a great touch that if you have any problems with this robot, you can just contact them down below. Extra side brush, extra filter. I've been there personally, so when I got my very first Roomba, I remember just laying there, not wanting to do anything, kind of like this puppy, and one day the robot vacuum kind of nudged me to get up, and I refused. I kept trying to nip at it, and I kept trying to refuse to move, but this little well, our vacuum was very persistent and kept plowing its way through. Eventually, it was able to clear a path so it can continue with its cleaning job. You don't have to spend an arm and leg to get the most expensive well, our vacuum. Even cheap ones can do a good job. Here's a look at the robot. Very, very simple design. And up top here is a single button. Press it once to start the robot. Press again to stop it. Now, if you double press it, it returns back to home. Dustbin. Lift up this flappy lid here. Just a plastic cover. So the dustbin itself looks very large, probably around 500 milliliters, which is a nice touch. And you can see inside there, the little extractor motor is right there. Now, you got a physical power switch, and underneath the robots, the common affair, you got your front wheel caster right here, your charging contacts, also you have the single side brush, and you have the section only port. So this is designed for smooth surfaces, and you can technically use this on low profile carpet as well to pick up the fine dust and debris. Alright, lastly you got these adjustable wheels and due to the size of the robot, these wheels are actually quite small. But we'll see how well the Free Move 2.0 technology works. Let's get this charged up and we'll keep on going. Well, it looks like the Limpet M200 has some competition. It's not the only small robot vacuum on the market. This new hamster vac has a dual vision camera system, and with its advanced sniff to food technology, it can easily pick up these little nuts. And once its cheeks are full, go and empty itself. So, Limpet gave me the M200 version, which is the US version, but there's also a European version, the M201, which offers app integration. Also, there's a free move 2.0 technology. We'll see what that's all about. You'll be surprised how many sensors are on these well, vacuum. So like these animals in this maze, they have to figure out how to navigate this environment. They don't need a map of the environment. This is a tough challenge. They're kind of running around blind, but they use a variety of sensors. So with well, vacuums, they use physical bump sensors so they can detect objects in front of the robot. Also, there's a wide range of infrared sensors to help prevent the robot from falling down the stairs. Also, when the robot approaches an object, it slows down so it doesn't scrape up your furniture. And let's give a round of applause to the one on the left. It looks like it finished the maze first. The Lympha M200 has a very unique cleaning pattern. It starts with a perimeter sweep, then it fills in that perimeter with a back and forth cleaning pattern. Very similar to more expensive robot vacuums, but this guy takes it a step further, does another perimeter sweep, and then it actually does a random pattern, which is very unique. I think this was a very efficient pattern for a smaller area. So these cheaper robot vacuums do make great for like a secondary robot vacuum. So maybe you have a small powder room, maybe bathroom, kitchen area with smooth surfaces. It's great to get one of these little guys because they can just bounce around your area and pick up the majority of the dirt and debris. According to Limpin, this guy has a BYD battery technology which will extend the battery shelf life. 
Well, you may heard this saying, size does matter. Well, in terms of uh, vacuums, having a smaller robot may be able to get into tighter areas. You can see that this little fella can clearly navigate around these doors without any issues, and it can go around these dominoes. Due to its small body size, you can see it can fit between these tight dominoes. No problems. Wow, this guy is awesome. With the free move 2.0 technology, the robot did really well not getting stuck. I really don't know where these robot vacuum manufacturers come up with their names, but it's kind of comical. I would have just called it the robot that really gets stuck. And you can see that the robot's kind of hung up on my air vent, but it was able to be very persistent and keep trying and trying until it was able to free itself. And with that U-shaped chair leg, the robot had no problem getting itself on top of the chair leg and back down, something that more expensive robot vacuums struggle with. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to name any names, but the Roblox in particular actually struggled with that in the beginning. But with the Roblox, you do have a keep out zone. Now, I was surprised how well the guy did on the rubber mats. Well, you can see that this dog is way too big for this obstacle challenge and who is able to knock over just about every dog in this area. So one thing to consider when purchasing a uh, vacuum is the body size. Yes, there's large body sizes, small body sizes, medium size. And if you have like a small powder room, you may want to consider a well, uh, vacuum that has a smaller body size. Um, the Lifin does have recharge capabilities and it doesn't necessarily need the best navigation since it's just covering a smaller area. So it looks like there's just a few bits left. We'll check the gas pit and see how much dirt and debris was in this robot. To have it go back home, all you have to do is press the power button on top of the robot twice. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Turns uh, purple and now it's going to find the stopping station. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name is Nathan. This channel is all about cool world vacuums. And also, if you like this type of video, please smash that like button. It really helps me out. Now, let's see how well the Limpet M200 did. Now, there's two variations of this model. There's the M200, which I have. And there's the M201, which is a European model that offers the app integration. And with its large dustbin, around 500 milliliters or so, it can hold a lot of dirt and debris. And was able to pick up the majority of material from powder to beads to larger pieces of candy. Alright, thanks for watching and thanks Levin for sending me out this unit. See you later.